give the floor to the Russian Federation. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We thank Under Secretary General Jean Pierre Lacroix and Special Envoy Parfait Ananga Onyanga for their briefings on the progress in the peace settlement, peace process between the Sudans and the activities of the UN Interim Security Force in Abyei. We note the contribution of Ethiopian peacekeepers in the effective work of this UN presence. We continue to advance the idea that in order to successful, successfully make headway on the peace process, there need to be joint efforts by the parties. We expect the rapid resumption of work on delimitation between Khartoum and Juba. The international legal basis for this exists in the form of well-known Security Council resolutions and resolutions of the African Union and the package of bilateral agreements concluded between the two countries in September 2012 in Addis Abeba. We expect that the work of the African Union high-level implementation panel uh, on this will continue with the Sudanese parties. We note the improvement in relations seen since the end of last year. Khartoum's participation, along with IGAD, in revitalizing the South Sudanese peace agreement made a substantial contribution to the peace process in that country. We also note the mediation efforts of President Salva Kiir to launch negotiations between the Sudanese authorities and groups in Darfur. The positive momentum that has built up in bilateral re relations needs to be used to resolve the question of Abyei as well. We note some improvement in the situation in Abyei. Intercommunal dialogue is being established there and progress is being made in border corridors demarcation. We believe that the work of UNISFA is important in maintaining constructive relations with local communities. The measures being taken by the UN to establish intercommunal interaction on law and order and also economic activity around the Amiet common market should be supported. Without this, it will not be possible to restore confidence and achieve a reconciliation of the two communities. We believe that the joint border verification monitoring mechanism is an integral element of the incident prevention system between the parties. Ending its support from UNISFA could have an extremely negative impact on the prospects for a full settlement of the situation around Abyei. We are all fully aware of the factors that are preventing Khartoum and Juba from accelerating the settlement of Abyei's final status. In such conditions, the continued presence of the UN Interim Security Force in the region continues to be extremely relevant. In this connection, we support the proposal of the Secretary-General to extend UNISFA's mandate, including its support for the JBVMM, for six months. At the same time, we are of the view that when considering the Secretariat's proposal on the mission's civ civilian component, the opinions of Khartoum and Juba must be taken into account as required by the basic principles of peacekeeping. Thank you. I thank the Russian Federation. I now give